it's really important to look at uh, force time graphs in relation to impulse. Remember, F delta T is delta P, and it's this thing here which we're calling the impulse. Well, what do I mean by a force time graph? Well, uh, this means the force that is occurring during a collision, uh, during the time of a collision. So, for example, in this case, we can see that the collision occurs from this point to this point. So we have our kind of delta T is fairly clear there. If I put a sort of uh, arrow there, that's our delta T. And we can see that the force is constant throughout that time. And uh, so we can calculate um, the change in momentum or the impulse just by finding the area of that box, the area under the graph. So, but of course, in that case, the force is constant. But we do see, uh, importantly, that I'll repeat, that the area is the impulse, is F delta T or delta P. So let's look at another graph. Well, I've written over the top of that one, never mind. <laughs> but in, in this case, we can see that it's not so straightforward because the force is changing all the time. But it still holds that the area under the graph is the impulse. The reason is, is because you can imagine we could take a small amount of time, like a small delta T, and we could look at the force at that moment. And F delta T would give us the change in momentum for that little bit of the graph. And of course, we could do that all the way along in all little strips of the graph. And in that way, we could gradually calculate the total change of momentum or the total impulse. So it's still true that the area under the graph is the impulse. And of course, in this case, it's because it's a triangle, you could, you could actually, find, you, you wouldn't have to do strip by strip. You could fairly easily do a calculation to find the area of the triangle. What about if it looks like this? Of course, in reality, if you go and kick a football, the force is probably going to vary in a peculiar way, something like this. But it still holds true that the area under a force time graph is the change in momentum or the impulse. Of, of course, if you in a question sometimes happens, you're asked to estimate the change in momentum from a graph, which is not a nice shape like this or this, then you'd have to kind of do some estimations and count the squares somehow, um, as I'm sure you've done in previous types of question. So, the, so there we are. So that's all really for the area under a force time graph is the impulse or equally the change in momentum. Really important to bear that in mind, and it does prop up as you'll just see in the next couple of um, few questions.